Rose of Jorge and Gemma Umbau, Rubus Chano, Urbano Licita, Danilo Manuel, Felix Josefina, Wilfredo Pat Petrona, Vicenta, Shirley, Jubilee, Lord Mark, Elmar, Chris, Rebecca, Emmanuel, Evelyn, Michael, Justin, Elias, Emetrio, Zafra, Lord Socorro, Florentina, Maximo, Domingo, Ignacia, Anthony, Joy, Cabristin, Sr., Antonio, Jr., Felipe, Alejandra, Cortez, Apolonia, Pedro, Corazon, Andres, Jr., and Sr., Alfonso, Jr., and Sr., Fortunato, Mercedes, Nicolas, Visitacion, Mauricia, Anastasia, Romeo, Veronica, Flora, Victor, Fe, Paz, Jose, Clemencia, Angela, Navarro, Yu, Valeriana, Romolo, Romolito, Felipa, Emeterio, Virgie, Elmar, Joanne, Frederick Ong, Raymond, Yuri, Alejandro, Angela, Quintin, Priscilla, Sister Guadalupe, Sister Elsie, SNSP, Father Cornel, USVD, Conrado, Disabella, Gregorio, Paustino, U, Claudia, Laurencio, Crispino, Josefina, Flora, Aurelia, Jose, Vicente, Sigondina, Irenea, Wilma, Ilias, Salimbangan, Petrona, Vicenta, Rebecca, Emmanuel, Michael, Justin, Wilfredo, Maximo, Domingo, Ignacia, Antonio, Jr., Antonio, Sr., Felipe, Urbano, Luisita, Danilo, Manuel, Felix, Evelyn, Natalio, Victoria, Josefina, Jacinto, Rogelio, Maribel, Mildred, Andre, Eduardo, Edgardo, Abby, Benjamin, Roel, Pablo, Eileen, Diosdano Jr., Filomena, Brenda, Rex, Marcos, Renato, Rom, Teofanes, Paul Jr., and Sr., Diosdado, Arthur, Arturo, Amado, Benefrida, Salvador, Romualda, Valeriano, Ricarda, Kotoko, Takashi, Zacarias, Harmony, Hildo, Violita, Lorna, Gregorio Sr., Gregorio Jr., Joel Flores, Epifania, Melchor, Baltasar, Gaspar, Pedro Sr., Cecilio, Niong, Maria Fe, Artemio, Asalud, Rosario, Abasalo, Rosario, Supapo, Amado Odi Rosario Matbagon Antonio Dolores Modesta Jose Herman Cading Juanita Pio Salvacion Campanero Elenita Bonifacio Otara Adesa Ibef Jason Bandot Laling Marilyn Ope Jed Suset Florencio Florentino Antonio Lenteja Stelma Maricel Lloyd Caniete Baby John Emmanuel Victor Mendoza Bidang Caroline Tering Eleuteria, Eleuterio, Francisco, Francisca, Mirna, Erlinda, Sami, Julio, Peregrina, Segondino, Maria, Ponciana, Pasita, Victoria, Eddie, Lilian, Toring, Libing, June, Ma Frankie, Julio, Noling, Tanciana, Manuel, Sr., Angela, Angela, Navarro, Manuel Rojas, Edilberto, Luna, Crescentia, Emiliana, Crisologo, Violita, Fedela, Erlinda, Manuel, Unabia, Jeremy, Alvin, Serapion, Mirna, Orlando, Nesitas, Antonio, Marcosa, Braulio, Anatolia, Laureano, Hinara, Francisco, Nicolasa, Joseph, Pakibot, Celestino, Jr., Celestino, Sr., Teres, Teresa, Virgilio, Cayetano, Artemio, Victor, Santiago, Fortunata, Seferina, Bautista, Emmanuel, Alexander, Amado, Benefrida, Valeriano, Ricarda, Salvador, Romualda, Kotoko, Takashi, Zacarias, Sermini, Hildo, Violita, Lorna, Emilio, Sr., Diega, Emilio, Jr., Jerome, Flora, Angel, Flaviano, Corazon, Romeo, Felix, Agustin, Amada, Leonardo, Jose, Vidal, Maria, Pedro, Ponciana, Enez, Henry, Tina, Victoria, Felipa, Teodora, Teodorico, Glicerio, Restituto, Graciano, Sr., Luciana, Resti, Virginia, Rosalie, Jericho, Miguel, Enostenes, Osafena, Fe, Gaudencia, Miguel, Danilo, Carlito, Sonny, Ben, Margarito, Felicidad, Felix, Teofila, Dirk, Ray, Angelo, Adal, Adalia, Adelina, Delia, Elvira, Jose, Pelahia, Sulpicio, Eldefonso, Maria, Rosal, 
Joselito, Charlie, Arcadio, Jesus, Francisca, Genaro, Cecilia, Bonifacia, Nemesha, Damiana, Angel, Mar Maximo, Lourdes, Daro, Cristina, Anastasia, Sinforoso, Sr., Gloria, Teresita, Anacorito, Felicito, Cesaria, Vivencia, Thelma, Wilfredo, Visitacion, Artemio, Vincent, Maria Elsa, Gemma, Bereno, Claudio, Marcelo. All unborn babies, aborted babies, all departed relatives and friends, and for all poor souls in purgatory, especially the forgotten ones. Palihog mangluhod alang sa novina ni San Antonio de Padua. Sa ngalan samahan, sanak sa Espiritu Santo. Amen. Mga muyo kita sa langitong amahan, tinubdan sa tanang kasantos, aron iya kitang dadun nga sa kasantos, tinabangan sa pangilaba o panigingnan sa mga santos, ilabina ni San Antonio de Padua, Uban sa pangama ni San Antonio, hangyuon ta ang amahan sa pag-ingon. Amahan nga bulahan, imo kaming panabangan. Tanan, amahan nga bulahan, imo kaming panabangan. Alang sa kaayuhan o pagbago sa Santa Iglesia sa Diyos, sa panaghiusa sa tanang mga Kristiyanos, alang sa kalinaw, Ug panag-inig suunay sa tanang mga tao. Pangayuon ta pinaagi ni San Antonio nga nagbudlay kanunay alang ni ini. Tanan, amahan nga bulahan imo kaming panabangan. Hangyuon ta ang amahan nga sumala sa iyang kabubuton, magpuyo kita o kinabuhi nga makapahimuot kaniya diha sa tanan. Pangayuon ta pinaagi ni San Antonio nga magmabungahon unta kita diha sa tanan mga maayong buhat gikan sa buhing pagtuo. Tanan, amahan nga bulahan imo kaming panabangan. Hangyuon ta ang amahan nga mahiuli unta kita diha kang Kristo. Pangayuon ta pinaagi ni San Antonio nga malingkawas kita sa tanang sala o katalagman aron makatuman kita sa atong katungdanan sa pagkaanak nga mas sinugtanon sa Diyos. Amahan nga bulahan imo kaming panabangan. Hangyon ta ang amahan nga hayagan kita niya sa iyang mga lamdag aron makasubay kita sa dalan sa katarong. Pangayuon ta pinaagi ni San Antonio, doktor sa Santa Iglesia, nga tudluan unta kita niya sa mga pagtulunan ni Kristo sa tanang adlaw sa atong kinabuhi. Tanan, amahan nga bulahan imo kaming panabangan. Hangyuon ta ang amahan nga ikaplag unta kita niya sa matuod nga kinaadman nga magdala nato ngadto kaniya. Pangayuon ta pinaagi ni San Antonio, nga dili unta mawala din hi kanato ang bililhong grasya sa Dios. Ug kon mawala, hilap hikaplagan unta nato dayon, ingon man ang ubang mga butang nga nawala nato ug makatabang sa atong kaluwasan. Tanan, amahan nga bulahan imo kaming panabangan. Sa katapusan hang yuon ta ang amahan nga hatagan kita sa atong buot pangayuon ining nobina. Dinhi pangayuas sa hilom ang buot mong pangayuon. Pangayuon ta pinaagi ni San Antonio nga hatagan kita sa atong ipangayo ug nga madaw, ug nga dawat dawato niya nga mahinangpon ang tanang nangamatay ilabina sa iyang mga deboto 
ngadto sa kahayag sa himaya. Tanan, amahan nga bulahan imo kaming panabangan. Makagagahom og tunhay nga Dios gihatag mo sa imong lungsod si San Antonio, bantugang magbuali og tigpangamas diha sa ilang mga kinihanglan. Itugot nga tinabangan niya kaming nagasunod sa mga pagtulon ani Kristo, makailaunta nga ikaw mismo maoy magpailaom sa pagtabang kanamo diha sa tanan namong kalisdanan. Kini among gipangayo pinaagi ni Kristo among Ginoo. Amen. Sa ngalan sa mahan sa anak sa Espiritu Santo. Amen. Palihog manglingkod. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. And with your Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, every virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest.
let us pray. O God, from whom all good things come, grant that we who call on you in our need may at your prompting discern what is right and by your guidance do it. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Genesis. After the man, Adam, had eaten of the tree, and the Lord God called to the man and asked him, Where are you? He answered, I heard you in the garden, but I was afraid, because I was naked, so I hid myself. Then he asked, Who told you that you were naked? You have eaten then from the tree of which I had forbidden you to eat. The man replied, The woman whom you put here with me, she gave me fruit from the tree, so I ate it. The Lord God then asked the woman, why did you do such a thing? The woman answered, The serpent tricked me into it, so I ate it. Then the Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, you shall be banned from all the animals and from all the wild creatures. On your belly shall you crawl, and dirt shall you eat all the days of your life. I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and hers. He will strike at your head, while you strike at his heel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. With the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. With the Lord there is mercy and fullness of redemption. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. Let your ears be attentive to my voice in supplication. But with you is forgiveness, that you may be I 
Sentinels wait for the dawn. Let Israel wait for the He will redeem Israel from all their iniquities. With the Lord there is mercy and fullness. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, since we have the same spirit of faith, According to what is written, I believed, therefore I spoke. We too believe, and therefore we speak, knowing that the one who raised the Lord Jesus will raise us also with Jesus and place us with you in his presence. Everything indeed is for you, so that the grace bestowed in abundance on more and more people may cause the thanksgiving to overflow for the glory of God. Therefore, we are not discouraged. Rather, although our outer self is wasting away, our inner self is being renewed day by day. For this momentary light affliction is producing for us an eternal weight of glory beyond all comprehension as we look not to what is seen but to what is unseen for what is seen is transitory but what is unseen is eternal for we know that if our earthly dwelling a tent should be destroyed we have a building from god a dwelling not made with hands eternal in heaven the word of the lord The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Be 
Jesus came home with his disciples. Again, the crowd gathered, making it impossible for them even to eat. When his relatives heard of this, they set out to seize him. For they said, He is out of his mind. The scribes who had come from Jerusalem said, He is possessed by Beelzebul. And by the prince of demons, he drives out demons. Summoning them, he began to speak to them in parables. How can Satan drive out Satan? If a kingdom is divided against itself, that kingdom cannot last. And if a house is divided against itself, that house will not be able to stand. And if Satan has risen up against himself and is divided, he cannot stand. That is the end of him. But no one can enter a strong man's house to plunder his property unless he first ties up the strong man then he can plunder the house amen i say to you all sins and all blasphemies that people utter will be forgiven them but whoever blasphemes against the holy spirit will never have forgiveness but is guilty of an everlasting sin. For they had said, He has an unclean spirit. His mother and his brothers arrived. Standing outside, they sent word to him and called him. A crowd seated around him told him, Your mother and your brothers and your sisters are outside asking for you. But he said to them in reply, Who are my mother and my brothers? And looking around at those seated in the circle, he said, Here are my mother and my brothers. For whoever does the will of God is my brother and sister and mother. The Gospel of the Lord. Jesus Christ. The story of creation, um, as we have heard in the first reading, is not a chronological or actual um, account of what really happened. No? But it is more of an analysis of the sinful nature of man. If you notice, no, when Adam realized that he was naked and the Lord was looking for him, no, he said, I am ashamed no, because I am naked. And the Lord asked him, how do you know? You must have eaten from the forbidden tree. You must have eaten the fruit from the forbidden tree. And how did Adam react? No? It was the woman who gave me the fruit. No? And the woman said, No, it was the serpent who gave me the fruit. No? Which is the, hu the fallen human nature. That we are, when we are faced with guilt, we blame other people. Or we blame somebody else. No? Atong pasangin lang, no? Maglagot sa sa katao, sa ang ito pahimungtan, maabot sa ito mga iring, ito mga iro. No? We blame somebody else. No? Because we do not want to face the responsibility of the consequences of what we do. That was what happened with Adam. He blamed Eve. Eve, Eve blamed the serpent. Now, in the gospel, we see how some people labeled the works of Jesus. No? Since Jesus was um, expelling demons, instead of recognizing the good deed that he has done, 
they attributed this work of Jesus of expelling demons to the power of Satan, which is contrary to logic. And in fact, Jesus employed logic. How can a kingdom last if it is divided against itself? So, even if Satan is evil, he is not that dumb to go against himself. Otherwise, that will destroy his kingdom. So any, anybody who is in his right mind will always know that they cannot attribute the good deed of Jesus to Satan. And again, Jesus said, he is doing this. No? And, uh, and, and Jesus continued that God forgives sins except the sin against the Holy Spirit. No? What is the sin against the Holy Spirit that will never be forgiven? No? It is the rejection of forgiveness. No? When you do not accept God's forgiveness, either because you are ashamed, you are afraid, or you are too proud to admit that you need to ask for forgiveness. Again, these are effects of the fall of man. This is part of our fallen human nature. But God comes to rescue us. St. Paul tells us no, that there is hope in this situation. So if you look into the dynamics that Jesus showed to them, Jesus even gave hope to the people around him. He said, anybody who does the will of the Father is my brother, my sister, and my mother. Me, simply saying no? that, yes, indeed, we have our fallen nature. But if we do the will of the Father, we can become His family. There is hope. No? But again, there is that struggle within us. And I see this struggle in our society today in the debate regarding divorce. No? Insisting on the legal legalization of divorce is like saying that, yes, there are failed marriages, but since there are irreparable marriages, we have to provide an exit plan for those in marriage as if we do not have the consent in marrying. It's like blaming something else, blaming the other person or the circumstances regarding the failure of marriage. When in fact, like Adam and Eve, it is the failure to accept the responsibility of having to prepare for marriage before entering into marriage. And even parents fail to do that. Tagahan pang ginikanan nga mamugos nga ipakasal, yun ilang anak, kay ni Mabdos na, kay gusto nga mauni ihang mabana, kay anugon kay mupauli na ni foreigner, di pa sila makasal or whatever. Some parents have plans for their children no? and they force it on them without even knowing that they're pressuring their children. And those who are getting married fail to exercise their freedom to choose no? and then when they're in it they blame their parents for the failure in the marriage they blame somebody else and they need divorce for them to be free from the consequences of their own decision if we fail to admit our responsibilities in the decisions that we make we will never grow that is equivalent to the sin against the Holy Spirit. The failure to admit our uh, failures that in the process, instead of asking for forgiveness from the Lord, we insist no? that any good deed that could happen comes from the devil. That forcing people to repair the relationship in marriage comes from the devil because we do not respect the freedom of choice of couples when in fact the freedom should have been exercised in before saying yes to that said union 
it really disturbs me. Nganong ing anaon mang yun, no? Why do we fail to accept the responsibility and go for health in relationship, not for any medicine in an unhealthy relationship? Nganong maday andaman lang yung tarong ang kami niyon, instead of pagminyo lang sa mudiha niya, ato lang suwa yan, o makinaunsa, pagbuwag lang mo. What about the kids, the collateral damage? They are still consequences of your irresponsible decisions. Whom do we blame for that consequence? Mangita tagbitin nga itong kapasanginlan? Or do we want to accept responsibility so that in the end, we become healthier in our decision-making process? We hope and pray that God will enlighten our minds. The Holy Spirit will be with us so that we do not sin against the Holy Spirit. We do not reject forgiveness. And the requirement of forgiveness is the admission of guilt. We ask the Lord to help us make wiser decisions so that in the end, we will avoid irreparable unions instead of forcing legislation to repair the damage which are the consequences of our decisions. We make responsible decisions as early as possible and we hope and pray that those young people who plan to have families will have that wisdom to face, uh, to anticipate their future and to face the consequences of their decisions. That is our hope and our prayer. Please rise. Let us now profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, and the life of the world to come. Amen. We are aware that there is still much evil in us and in the world because Jesus has overcome evil by his death and resurrection. We ask God that goodness may be victorious and let us say, Lord, hear your people. that the church may be a people dedicated to bring forgiveness to all its members and be a sign and messenger of reconciliation to the whole world with all its peoples let us pray Lord, hear your people. that all the churches that believe in christ may overcome their division and become one in the lord who brought pardon and peace let us pray. Lord, hear your people. That nations may give up the senseless race to have ever more powerful weapons for war, that they may learn to live together in harmony and give to all equitable access to the world's goods. 
Let us pray. Lord, hear your people. That all those who are hardened in sin may be touched by the Spirit of the Lord to repent and to change their ways. Let us pray. Lord, Lord hear your people. That our families may not be divided, but find deep unity in mutual respect, in forgiveness and understanding love. Let us pray. Lord, hear your people. That our communities may accept those who have erred, defend the weak and the victims of injustice, and bear witness to the mercy of God. Let us pray. Lord, hear your people. God, our Father, keep healing us from all evil, and let your goodness shine in us by the power of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look kindly upon our service, O Lord, we pray, that what we offer may be an acceptable oblation to you and lead us to grow in charity through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right <clears throat> and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere. To give you thanks Lord Holy Father. Almighty and eternal God through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours. He humbled himself. And was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from an ending death. And by rising from the dead, he gave us it life eternal. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. <clears throat> You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. 
for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Jose our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that to the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, to Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you, Throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. <clears throat> <clears throat> At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. 
as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that should enter under, under my, under roof, my but roof, roof, but only say the words, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May your healing work, O Lord, free us, we pray, from doing evil and lead us to what is right. Through Christ our Lord, Amen. prayer for Sugbuswak. God our Father, you have created us into your own image and likeness. You have adopted us as your children through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and have inspired us through the power of your Holy Spirit. We pray for the realization of this endeavor, Sugbuswak, a watershed event that aims to give birth to the proposed dioceses of the now in the north of Cebu and Karkar in the south. Open wide our eyes to glean over the geographic, democratic, financial, and institutional concerns of this dream so that we may be able to erect local churches that radiate communion, practice participation in governance and authority, and adhere to core responsibility in mission for a synodal church. All these we ask you through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Senor Santonino, Our Lady of Guadalupe, San Pedro Calungsod. Please be seated for the announcements. Mga, ig mga igsoon, ang atong second collection karon alang sa repair and maintenance sa atong simbahan. Daghang salamat sa inyong pagkamanggihatagon. Mga pasalamat, sa ngalan sa itong talahurong arsubispo sa Sugbo, His Excellency Most Reverend Jose Espalma, ang team of pastors, ang parish pastoral council, ug ang parish finance council din sa atong parokya sa katedral, nagpasalamat kaninyong tanan sa inyong makanunayong pagsuporta, ilabi na ngadto sa tanang mga benefactors, sponsors, ug ngadto usab sa atong mga volunteers ug liturgical ministers. Linain usab nga pasalamat ngadto nila ni Mr. Alex Mendoza Texon. Mr. Calixto and Miguel Liu and family, Miss Cynthia Cheney and Mr. Jack Rentuza, Miss Joan Castillo and family, Mr. and Mrs. June and Araceli Ilianos, Ma Mary Ann Cabigas, Mr. Teodolfo, Mrs. Rosalia Guido, Mrs. Rosita Ong, and Mr. Jerry Alcover. Satong flower sponsors, ng sila si Engineer Cyrus and Engineer Jessica Otadui and family. Ug sa tong flower decorators nga sila si Mr. Mike Pugoy ug mga kauban. Mga importanteng pahibalo. Una, ang atong parokya nagdapit ug mga parokyanong gustong mamahimong katikista. Kadtong interesado, pakisayod ngadto sa opisina sa parokya. Ikaduha, Ang WAF kon World Apostolate of Fatima Cathedral Chapter buot muhatag kanato og WAF or YAF Basic Seminar. Mahitungod kini sa kabililhon sa mensahe sa mahal nga Berhen Maria sa Fatima. Ang seminar karong June 15 to 16, Sabado hangto Domingo sa alas 8 sa buntag hangtod sa alas 5 sa hapon. Adto sa La Purisima Hall. Abli kini sa tanan, gikan sa 13 anyos pataas. Ikatulong, ang parokya sa Our Lady of Perpetual Health, Redemptorist Cebu, nagdapit ka natong tanan, isi pilgrim sa ilang ikalimang adlaw sa novina, pasidungog sa ilang patron, Our Lady of Perpetual Health. Mahitabo kini karong umaabot Hunyo 11, June 11, Martes sa alas 5 imedia sa gabi. Gidapit tanan nga mutambong. Ug alang sa mga mandated organizations nga mutambong, giauhag sa pagsulob sa inyong kaugalingong uniform. Gikan sa team of pastors, kaninyong tanan, daghan kaayong salam. Please rise. The Lord be with you. And in your spirit. 
May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended.